mid-May and it's peacock hunting time again so for the first time I'm seeing birds form up into large numbers and we'll just peer down over here with a zoom here we have them I'll come back out again because the boys are never far away here's the boys or in this case boy so nesting's over and done with and the uh, females are starting to form back up into parties again now um, what are we this is about the third weekend in May duck shooting season was uh, or duck shooting opening was last weekend anyway it'll be time to get back into them again just to keep a lid on their numbers Anyway, these jokers in that location will be quite difficult to get onto. Um, it's open ground the whole way to get into that corner. So I might just be a little bit patient and let them work their way around the corner so they're out of sight and then follow them up. Anyway, it's a nice day. And one of those birds has actually got a fabulous big long tail which is quite unusual for this early in the season. He's obviously a mature bird, so he will be my primary target this afternoon. Because the objective here is not to wipe them out. If I was here to wipe them out, I'd be shooting the hens. The objective here is just to keep the uh, keep a gentle lid on the population so that they they remain here. They're quite a beautiful bird. I get some ongoing hunting. I guess it's a bit selfish in that respect. So anyway, we're going after the males first, in preference. Just staying in the shadows at the moment, but it's incredibly difficult to try and do any stalking with these blokes around. Any time I get into their paddock, they think it's a game. Yeah. There's number 57. You're the friendliest of the lot, aren't you? Well, have you guys know, you muck the hunting up. You really do. How can I sneak up on those peacocks when you guys are around? Hey, no, that's my, that's my belt, it's not for you to chew on. There's two cockbirds with this mob, one of them's got a fabulous tail. They're just over this corner behind me. They can probably hear me talking. <laughs> They're less than 50 yards away and among the trees, but they got the better of me, not once, but twice. And I've just come quietly up into this gully here. There were three cock birds and um, five or six hens. I've just taken one cock bird out of here. And the others are hiding behind this tree in front of me. They're, um, they're playing a very weary game. My shooting posse I chose is just behind this immature gorse bush here. It's just in front of me. It'll give me just a little bit more cover to break up my outline. And I've got one cockbird. And the others are too wary, too um too cunning to uh Come out from behind there. Normally when you fire at them like this they'll go up the slope. I haven't even seen them do that. Unfortunately going to run out of daylight. If you're very patient in these situations you'll sometimes get an extra couple because they're silly enough to um, wander out. But not tonight. quietly come to my knees and see what we can see. There's a gum tree there that we're in the paddock behind that gum tree. I can't see them anywhere at the moment. They haven't gone up slope or down slope or anywhere. Quite remarkable really. They just seem to vanish. 
even though this paddock's relatively clean, how the, the birds just seem to disappear. Anyway, I've got one out of it, he's up here. There he is. Not bad for an early season peacock. Well, it's a Sunday afternoon and it's mid-July. And I'm out here with a pair of binoculars on the hilltop just doing a little eye spy session. And uh, on the pieces of property I have permission to hunt on, uh, unfortunately I don't have any peacocks. But way across the other side of the gully, there's a big mob of them. So I'm going to do my best to um, put this camera on, uh, on zoom and... Um, Wind it up to maximum power, and uh, we'll have a little look-see at this mob. It looks like there's about five cocks and 25 hens all in a mob. Right across the other side, a big green, grassy green paddock. Here it is. There you go, that's maximum zoom. And I can't quite count them all. Needless to say, there's quite a few over there. They are my quarry. Well, the cockbirds are anyway. Less interested in the hens. Anyway, they're beyond my reach at the moment. I don't have the owner's permission to get across there. In fact, I don't even know who owns that property. But uh, when the birds get to numbers like that, they become a damn nuisance. Nothing down in this gully, not at the moment anyway. I mean, we might go and uh, speak to the neighbour and see if we can figure out who owns that property.